Hello, this is Chris with usgalaxyS3.com. Just a guy with a couple S3s and testing out a ROM tonight. Uh, it's about 1 a.m. Hopefully I'll get this uploaded soon. Late night, early morning edition. All right, what we have here is the Hellfire ROM. Uh, Team Darkstar, it says on the XDA thread, presents it. Thread poster is Jam Car. I think he has a lot to do with the development of it. What we have here is my daily ROM configured the way I want it. I've already downloaded the latest revision of his ROM, Hellfire version 1.1. We've placed it on our external SD card in a location we can find easily. So now I'm going to reboot into our custom recovery. This phone is already rooted and of course has a custom recovery. After we install this ROM, we will uh, be doing some benchmarks like we are with the other ROMs. Alright, I'm not going to use the shortcut to boot into recovery because if you're coming from a stock ROM, you'll need to do this. Volume up, home button, and then power. You'll see a Samsung logo and a little blue text pop up right there. First thing I'm going to do is back up what I have. So I'm going to backup and restore, backup. Right now we're making an Android backup. Pretty much I can restore this if the ROM doesn't work or anything else fails or I just want to go back. This is going to take a little bit, so we're going to fast forward to when it's done. Generating MD5 sum is the last step. All right, now we're going to go to wipe data factory reset. Always good to do with a brand new ROM. Usually when you're making incremental upgrades of the same ROM, you could just flash it over and you don't lose the data. However, I would still make a titanium backup just in case you do have to, if things don't work. Usually that's one of the first steps you should take. If a ROM uh, won't boot up, go ahead and wipe data factory reset. So we're going to go to install from SD card. We're going to select Hellfire version 1.1 zip. And select it. Of course, you probably already played with your device a lot. Volume up and down are up and down in the menu. And the power button is a select. All right, now we're going to choose Go Back. Reboot system now. Since we just wiped the device, this first boot will probably take longer than most. A little information about it. Super SU is what handles the super user permissions. Deodex has Jelly Bean animations, Jelly Bean Play Store, Move Shutdown animation, Debloated, Performance Tweaks, Apex Launcher, so your launcher won't be touched with Silent UI, International Boot Animation, Ad Block, so that your apps won't have ads popping up in them, Beats, and an app for it, Build Prop Tweaks, Insecure Boot Image, Google Ears, Init Descript is coming soon, a Hellfire Kernel coming soon, and more, plus a lot more coming soon, according to the thread. Alright, we'll blast through this real quick. It does keep the little Dropbox thing in case you haven't uh, created your own Dropbox account. It is notifying us that there's a newer version of Apex Launcher available. We're just going to cancel out for a little bit and take a quick look at this ROM. You can tell that it's been de-bloated. So in our next video, we will be running benchmarks on this. If you want more information about it, want to download it, or want to support the developer, please visit the XDA thread listed in the description of this video below.
All the accessories and devices you've seen on the channel thus far have been paid for with my own money. So if you could like the videos and subscribe to the YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.